Hello and welcome to a new tutorial from Mo ICT. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to play animated GIFs transparently using Windows Form. Uh, so the way we used to do it before is we can use the picture boxes. So what I have here is I have a background with a living room image. I have a table fan and a windmill. So as you can see, the table fan is transparent. So the background is coming through with it, right? But if I put the windmill in front of the table fan, Although this one is set to transparent in the properties window, it inherits the background from the form, not from the image that it's on top of. Okay, so if I play this one now, okay, it plays like this. So it is cutting off some of the bits from the fan because it's inheriting it from um, from the actual living room, right? Uh, so what we want to do is we want to uh, find a way to animate GIFs, but do it in a transparent way that it actually looks natural. Uh, the way it's supposed to look right so it's supposed to look like it's just layered on top of the fan instead of being like this so the result that we're trying to get to is like this here so what i've done here is i've got another project open uh, so in this case we're going to be importing the images like the fan and the wind wind dynamically through the code so if we just click play here so as you can see, the images are being dynamically loaded and the windmill and the fan are both transparent on top of each other. Okay, so this way it's not adding, uh, it's not inheriting any background from anywhere else. It's just playing the GIFs as it should be. Before we start, uh, just go to the Moo ICT website and download the images that we need. So we need the background image, the fan.gif and the windmill.gif. So both of these are animated. This one is a still image. So if you uh, download and extracted them, then we can actually import them into Visual Studio. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new project. Uh, I'm going to choose the Windows Form app.net. So let's name this project um, Fan and Windmill Animator Wind Forms ICT. Click Next. .NET 6 is fine. Okay, so right here we have our project, uh, empty project loaded. So first, we're just going to go ahead and add the text to the title. So call this one fan and windmill animator OICT. So the title just shows up there. And then as we scroll to the top, we can change the background image to the image that we downloaded. So I go to import, select all of them. So that's the windmill, that's the fan, and here's the background. So I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to set the background to stretch. Okay. So um, in this project, we're not going to be using a timer. What we'll use instead is we'll go here and find the paint event right there. Okay. So inside the paint event, I'm going to say draw animations paint event. Okay, so draw animations paint event like so. Right, just uh, I like to name things a little bit more obvious, so it's a lot easier to read the code. So that's the only event that we're going to need um, to add through the form. Uh, another event that we're going to need, but we're going to add that to the code as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and try adding the images that we need. So we'll call an image, uh, call this one fan, and then another image, and call this one windmill. Like so. Okay, let's make a new function here called um, uh, load images. Okay, private void load images. Otherwise, it's going to think it's a class. So the load images function is going to be run when the constructor runs, right? So we're going to say load images right here. So let's go ahead and add the stuff that we need to the load images. Okay. Uh, so first of all, we can we need to set the style of the form. So the style of the form will determine how well it actually runs uh, when the animator is running. So uh, we're going to say set style like so. Okay, so set style, um, this is fine. So we do need this one. Okay, and then we also are going to add another uh, one here. And then this one, you're going to say cool. Like a, add a pipe symbol to it and say Control styles dot optimized double buffer. Okay, and then right after that, do another pipe symbol here and say Control styles 
dot user style. So user paint symbol style user paint yeah. And then don't forget the comma in the end. Okay, so what these are doing here is I need to delete this comma here actually. So what these are doing is basically telling the form that how well we want to um, optimize it. So it's without sort of um, the jittery and the lagness, we want to reduce that as much as possible. Okay. And you can actually hover over them to understand some of the more bits. So, so for example, if I hover over all paint in WM paint, it basically says, uh, if this, uh, this control ignores the windows message uh, to reduce the flicker, right? And then if you look at this one here, it says this control is first drawn to buffer rather than directly on the screen, which can reduce flicker. So these ones here are just used to reduce the flicker of the animation on the screen. Okay, so now let's load the images for this one. So say fan equals to, because fan is already a image, right? So we don't have to say dot image at this point. And then we're gonna say properties dot resources dot fan, right? And here we can now check for a something called an image animator. Okay, so image animator class exists. Uh, it's sort of like a timer, right? So, um, this sort of reminds me of the old flash style of programming. So where you actually create like a on um, event handler sort of thing. So the image animator can look through a GIF and then sort of trigger a um, image handling event with every frame that's inside the GIF. Okay. So once we start using it, it will make a little bit more sense. Okay. So I'm going to call the animate function and then we're going to say fan. That's the image that we wish to animate, right? And then we're gonna say this dot on frame. Oh, not one frame, on frame changed. Frame changed handler. Like so uh, the reason this one's showing up as a red line is because this hasn't been added yet. So we're gonna click on when you hover over it, you can click on the let it come up. So we can click up the show potential fixes, and then we can generate a method right underneath to say that now this event here exists, okay? And then we need to put in our um, invalidate um, logic inside of that one. Let's go to do the same thing with the windmill. So windmill.resources, that's windmill. Okay, so now it's gonna load up the windmill one and then say, once again, go ahead and call the image animator, animate, and this time I'm gonna call the windmill. And then once again, it's gonna be linked to the exactly the same animator event here. All right, so this event is going to tick every time the animator actually loads. So it's uh, quite fast as the timer because of the animation. Okay, so instead of this one, we can simply say this dot invalidate. invalidate. So what this is going to do is going to empty the frames and then it's going to load up the next one right after. Okay, so now let's actually draw these um, fans onto the screen. So although we have um, done the load image and loading the image, and also doing the animation handler, setting up the animation handler for both of these images, uh, we haven't actually drawn it to this one. So this is where the paint um, event is going to come handy. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the paint event and say image animator dot update frames for fan. Okay, so it's just gonna update the frames for that one. One second, we do the image animator update frames for the windmill. Okay, and then e dot graphics draw image fan, and then say new point. So it's where we're going to draw the actual fan. So the fan's going to be drawn at 50. So this is the x and y value of the drawing. Okay, so e dot graphics again dot draw image. This time we're going to say dot image dot windmill it's a new point so instead of 50 this one's going to be set to 300 by 200 okay All right so let's go ahead and try running this now okay, so as you can see Right now, the both of the GIFs are loading up and they're playing one on top of the other. And the way the images are drawn is that if I move the windmill behind the fan, if we just cut that out and draw it behind there, 
right now the fan is going to be on top of the windmill so there is a little bit of a layering that goes on as well so i can put the fan right behind you as well okay so whichever line that you put in last will be the line that actually plays okay let's reset that okay so this is going to be like a series of tutorials i will do based on um animators and paint because I found it quite interesting that um, Windows Form actually has this and when I actually found it out I played around with it a little bit and I found quite a lot of other things that I can do with this one including like spawning things and interacting with stuff uh, including like dragging and dropping stuff as well and it works quite nicely because um, it's a lot lighter than using picture boxes because picture boxes has got all of these other things with it like for example the bounds, the back color, um, tags and all these other stuff but with the image, you only get the image. Okay, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you on the next one.